Good afternoon everybody. Welcome to electricalsupplycenter.com. My name is Joe and our video man today is Brad Dietering. Today's topic is going to be about heat shrink tubing. We carry basically two different types, the most commonly used in mostly all industries. The other types that are not illustrated here are primarily for military applications and high-tech applications, but uh, the most common type, and probably 90% of it is used for uh, most applications, would be what we call the, the standard wall with no adhesive. It's a, uh, it's a thin wall material, but it's very high grade ratio on all this is 50%. And if you can see these pieces on the end here, they've been pretty shrunk on one end. And some look to be a little bit more than 50%, but commonly uh, you can count on, uh, if you have a, a quarter inch material, which would be uh, about this size here, say that's quarter inch, it would go down to one eighth, which is pretty small. So it'll shrink pretty tight. You want to make sure whatever material you put in to the heat shrink or you're going to cover with heat shrink that it's as close to the size as you can get it. Let me give you an Standard illustration. The wall is available in five colors, red, white, blue, clear and black. And we have it in two inch pieces, a four inch package, six inch, or it's also available on a four foot length. This is of course not the same size but uh, it shows that uh, this is more or less designed for a retail display. And so, uh, you know, it gives you a choice as to which one to use and uh, what sizes would be appropriate for your application. Now, we have a video that's on the heat shrink terminals. And if you go to YouTube and just type in heat shrink connectors or shrink terminals or shrink connectors, uh, you'll find that we're near the top of the list for, or at the top for uh, all the heat shrink products, and it's a, it's a fairly uh, concise video that will cover all the things that you need to know about uh, how to use and how to apply heat shrink connectors. And here's an illustration here, which I don't have in the video, but it does show uh, how effective these can be. This is fully submergible in water, chemicals, gas, oil, uh, acid, and it won't penetrate into the wire because there's glue on each end that comes out and it completely seals it. So it gives you a solid uh, connection from end to end without uh, deteriorating from any corrosion factor or any other issues that may affect the wire. So we also have the heat shrink with a heavier wall that is uh, lined with an adhesive, the silicone adhesive, and this material shrinks down three times its size, which is a great plus because uh, you know if you're if you're covering something that uh, let's take a, a battery. Uh, this is not printed on here, uh, but for illustration purposes, I want to show you how this works. This is a type that has. Uh, a heat shrink material in it. You only need enough to make sure that you cover the uh, part between the insulation of the battery cable and the end of the battery terminal. You, you don't want any gap in there. You push that back tight before you crimp it down. And then you bring this uh, heat shrink right up to the to the end of the barrel. The barrel part is where the wire physically goes into the battery terminal itself. And then when you apply heat You can see that uh, this will take a little bit longer because it's a thicker material. And these are available in 6 inch lengths and also in 4 foot lengths. See I'm rotating that to make sure that I get heat evenly all the way around the outside. And you want to make sure that you uh, hold the, the heat gun or the propane torch if you prefer relatively close to make sure that the glue melts well. You can see it will start oozing out of each end and that's where the good tight seal takes place. 
Now if we zoom in on this, we can see where the, the glue actually appears on each end. Now, the good thing about this is if there's any battery cable problems, providing that you have a good solid crimp, uh, it's visually out here because everything underneath is very well protected and sealed from end to end. This is excellent for boats, uh, especially boats because uh, many of them are used primarily in salt water. So you have this salt water corrosion which will just totally destroy a battery cable in, uh, in a few months. Um, and this will protect your battery terminals. If there's any corrosion that builds up, you can visually see it here and it's easy to clean. Oftentimes you can't see what goes on when, once it hits the wire part of it because uh, that's where all the damage, the deterioration starts and then your battery doesn't work because it's not being fed the proper uh, energy through your battery cable. Uh, that's another video uh, we'll talk about battery terminals and heavy-duty lugs, but I just wanted to show how this heat shrink works. It's uh, it's wonderful. Costs more, but it's very well worth it. And it's used for certain applications that you wouldn't use every day. Remember, this is 80 percent, 90 percent of all your applications for uh, indoors uh, or for components that are not. Uh, directly exposed to the uh, the outdoor weather, uh, which includes a lot of sun, for for instance, or uh, a rainy season like we have here in in the Northwest. Uh, you'd want to use something that has this uh, adhesive inside if you're going to have, uh, uh, say, like uh, underground burial, for instance. This would be perfect for that. I've got a great example. 24 years ago, I bought a house. And I had, the previous owner had a water fountain. And the water fountain had an electrical wire that ran down underneath of the fountain itself, under the ground, under a sidewalk, and then it plugged into a, a wall outlet. And when I turned the fountain on, when we first moved there, the water fountain would pop a circuit breaker. And I thought, what the heck is going on here? And I had to do a lot of research because uh, you don't know. Is it the pump? Is it the wiring? Is it the receptacle? Is it uh, the circuit breaker? Is it the panel box? You don't know. So I, first of all, I dug up the wire to make sure that it was okay and discovered that there were connections that were very similar to this one here that we did. There were two wires, uh, but they did not have any protection on them. It was just the connection itself, just the, uh, the terminal. And moisture got in there and started shorting it out because of the wire. And it would blow a circuit breaker. And so I decided to use uh, some of our, our heat shrink with the, the glue in it. It was about this size here to cover the, the, the two connections. And uh, I put an extra long piece on it, a little bit longer than this, maybe four inches, this is about three, and uh, 24 years ago, and guess what? Never popped a circuit breaker since. So this stuff is worth its weight in gold for certain applications. Certainly for boats, RVs, and also uh, for underground burials of all types. Sometimes you might be in the yard, you dig up something, you're trying to dig a hole and you cut a cable in half. Well, this would be excellent for repairing that cable or wire that's gone underground. And uh, you can be assured that it's probably going to last a lifetime and you won't have to worry about it again using the right material. Because it definitely keeps the moisture from getting into the wires and that's where all the danger starts right there. Uh, it causes all kinds of problems. So, we basically have the two types, standard wall or a heavier wall with silicone sealant. And uh, we cover all the sizes, like this for instance, it uh, starts a very small at 1 16th and goes all the way up to uh, a 2 inch material. 
we stock it uh, in the four foot lengths uh, to an inch and a half from one sixteenth to an inch and a half in five colors. You can also, uh, in addition to the package program, you can also buy it by the roll if you use a lot of it in your business. You can buy a 25 or 100 foot roll in any one of these sizes. Now this material with the silicone sealant only comes in 6 inch lengths or 4 foot lengths. Uh, primarily because you can't bend it. Uh, the glue would adhere uh, to itself and cause problems uh, uh, bonding together. So uh, to keep it uh, circular and uh, workable all the time we sell it in six and uh, four foot lengths, six inch, four foot. So uh, one of the main things that uh, that heat shrink tubing is used for is protection. You want to ensure that the circuits are protected and you don't have problems that I mentioned uh, uh, with the water fountain. That can occur in any type of a vehicle application and this uh, heat shrink is primarily used for uh, every application that you can think of uh, whether it's uh, for home application, for hobbies, uh, for uh, vehicle, your car, your pickup truck, heavy equipment, boats, RVs, trailers, uh, we've got you covered and all you need to do is uh, make sure you have the right size and the proper heat tool in order to shrink it down and one of the things that I always recommend is uh, uh, an inexpensive heat tool this one here uh, came from Ace Hardware it was like in a twenty twenty five dollar range you don't have to spend sixty seventy eighty dollars for a commercial heat gun Hair dryers don't work too well because they don't put out enough heat. If they did, they'd probably fry all of your hair off your head. But using a, there you go, Ace Hardware, if you use a, a simple, inexpensive tool like this, it'll work just fine. And you can get, uh, with the poly elephant grade, you can uh, come within uh, four to six inches away without causing any, uh, any heat problems with burning or uh, overdoing the the uh, heat application itself. So, uh, so I want to wrap it up today and uh, just review the, the different categories that we talked about. Remember we have a full line of heat shrink connectors and it's on our uh, website uh, or on YouTube which is uh, heat shrink connectors. Uh, and then we also talked about the uh, standard wall heat shrink which uh, shrinks 50 to 1 or, or half roughly and then the material uh, which is a heavier wall has the adhesive in it it shrinks 3 to 1. Uh, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.